Easy peeps and welcome back to another episode. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. Footage should start today. This video has been recorded before any information has actually dropped about footies, but there was that leak on the dash of uh, FIFA where it said that footies would start today. So hopefully, hopefully some things and some madnesses drop. However, let's have a look back at when footies was absolutely superb and i just hope they bring something back like this rather than do it how they did it last year and then they kind of force you to still play a dkt look at what they did for fifa 16 if you don't remember what they did for fifa 16 then this is what they did they did an online tournament and you could win it multiple times multiple times you had 10 attempts if you won it first First time you got uh, Conor Palenka, who was the most traded in FIFA 16. And then if you won it again, you got a special Aubameyang, who had the most goals in FIFA 16. And if you won it again for a third time, you got a FIFA 17 cover vote winner, which was Marco Royce. Look at those cards. Absolutely stunning. And then any wins after that, you got yourself a mystery pack. That was for online. And then offline, if you got your first win, you got a gold players premium pack. And then future wins after that, you got premium coins pack, minimum of 4,000 coins in a pack. So it's a pack with coins in it. Now those rewards are absolutely stunning. Something like that makes you want to come onto the game, makes you want to consistently play it, makes you want to drive through, makes you want, it just makes you want to play FIFA. Now this FIFA is being labelled as a dead FIFA unfortunately and that's mainly down to the gameplay and a few instances across the way that they just haven't got things right whatsoever. They've kind of forced esports even more this year and kind of pushed away more of the casual player to cater for the pros. And then the pros just go, well, I don't want to play your game either. And now the pros obviously are starting to play it now because you've got the championships coming up in August. But what's happened is if, if major influencers or pros just go, I don't want to play this game, then they're not going to play the game. You've got the biggest EA game changers. So these are the game changers that are responsible for what happens, what our views are, what people want to see in FIFA. And none of them play the game. <laughs> so what is that telling you? You've got a couple of the big YouTubers. Obviously, they still release videos. But if you look at the couple of the bigger ones, their videos are either drafts, which are just easy to do in terms of content. You can bang three or four in a day and then that's your week's videos. Or pack openings, which take absolutely no thought, just piling money on. Or just literally a few FIFA myth videos here and there, which isn't actual gameplay. None of them play foot champions. None of them grind divisions. The main people that do the well-known RTGs, a couple of them have just completely stopped playing FIFA altogether. They've now moved on to Fortnite and stuff like that. And it's because it just feels just forced upon you. If something like this was back in FIFA 18, where it'd make you want to grind, it'd make you want to try and get something, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Now, unfortunately... Again, one of the problems with the latest iterations of FIFA is there's just too many special cards. If you look at somebody like Salah, if you look at somebody like Umbop, they've got, what, 13 special cards? And there's not a difference between, once you get to the, let's, let's use uh, Umbop, for example, or even Salah. Once you get to, like, a 92 or a 93, the 94 isn't really worth the extra one upgrade, then the 95 isn't worth the extra one upgrade, really, then the 96 isn't, then the 97 isn't, then the 98 isn't. So it's a jump from the 92 to the 98 or the 99. But if they're releasing so many little one plus plus one increments along the way, it makes the game just kind of feel like you're trying to be grinded out of your cash, grinded out of your money. But something like this is a little bit of a give back. Anybody can obtain them in theory and it's absolutely stunning. So hopefully something like that happens for footies today. But let's get on with the main part of the video, which is just trying to try a little bit of thing in online divisions. Right, so let's get on with a little bit of content, shall we? Before we crack on, I did sell Muller for 13,000 coins. I just don't know, really know why I should have kept on to him. I just thought I'd sell him because a lot of the 86s because of the SBCs were going for 10 grand. And he's the only one that's above the 10k. I'm sure we'll pack some 86s along the way. Right, so this is the team 
that we usually go with in terms of formation. So we usually go with a 4-1-2-1-2 version 2. Some instances we do go with uh, 3 up front. But however, there's, there's moments in the game where you either you're losing or you need to come from behind or you just need to put a little bit of pressure onto the opponent. So obviously the best way of doing that is to change up the formation. The changing of the formation in game usually helps as well if you feel like you're getting pinned in too much. You feel like the game momentum is just not shifting your way. Sometimes a change in formation can actually change the way that the game is being read. Because obviously there's people that believe there's these momentum shifts in the game and stuff like that. And if your back's against the wall, there's nothing you can really get out of it apart from really changing formation. So what we usually do is we go to a 3-4-2-1. So by playing three at the back, you've got a lot more options in being able to go forward. Now that works great for me in game changing it around about the 60 to the 70th minute to be able to put pressure on the opponent, confusing me, wonders where all these players are coming from and stuff like that. However, it got me thinking, if it plays so well in the 60 to 70th minute, how will it play if you actually play this from the beginning of the game? I don't usually rock a three formation. Uh, obviously, the, you know, your brain tells you that playing three at the back from the get-go, you're going to get you know you're going to get a lot of players in behind your defense you're going to concede a lot of goals however will that be offset by the fact you've got so many players going forward of course you end up conceding x amount of goals in fifa as it is so we decided to do a division one run now i'm only going to show you two games like i said this i did end up doing a division a whole division one run but I'm only going to show you a couple of games just for time purposes really. Otherwise the video will end up being about a 45 minute video. And nobody wants that in July do we people. So first game up you can see we're playing a decent team. A decent player. We're in Division 1. So this is the best that the game can offer you on a weekly day to day basis. And we do go 1-0 up. So there's no real change in the formation structure straight away. Because you can't really notice it. Where you will notice it is if the player is attacking you back. And where your players are positioned. You can see there. If he would have caught us on the break there. We've only got two back from our own corner. And that sometimes happens when you're playing four at the back. But if we're with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. You've usually got the CDM in our case. And Diddy. So that gives us like a three at the back kind of option. Whereas this three at the back. Is really only giving us two from our own corners. But luckily. The attack with the, the pressure we managed to apply on the attack against this really good player and a really good team. We managed to go 3-0 up just before the 60th minute and we eventually won that game 4-0. Next up, this is the last actual gameplay footage I'm going to show you. But again, you can see in Division 1, these are the kind of teams we get all the time. Uh, it's obvious at this, you know, this stage of the game, there's going to be a load of tots and icons floating about. But the main premise is, did it work for a whole division run compared to, I mean, we've played multiple, multiple division one runs with the four at the back formation. But it, does this work in terms of playing a whole division run and then therefore will it work in foot champs? You can see we get caught on the break there. And again, we get caught on the break here. You can see there's our three at the back formation there. Well, if we miss the first tackle with our first defender, we are in trouble because there's nobody covering him. Usually with four at the back, in our case over Alba or Roberto Carlos and Walker, one of those usually then run behind the centre back to be able to cover it. When you've got three at the back, that is not an issue. It's okay changing to three at the back when you want to put more pressure on because you've lost the game anyway kind of thing. That's why you're changing to that formation. You want to put more pressure on the player. You feel like you're losing the game. So you don't mind that you're leaving yourself a little bit exposed at the back because he thinks everything's going all rosy for him. And then that's how you catch them unawares kind of things. But from the beginning, they know exactly what your setup is. And honestly, unless you are an awesome, awesome, awesome defender, which is quite hard to do on this game, it, it's a struggle, man. It's playing three at the back from the beginning, for me personally, is a little bit of a struggle. Obviously, it's all de uh, dependent on the opponent you play. I think we had one game where... Uh, we won like 8-0 or something, but obviously that's because the player himself wasn't very good So the reason I'm showing you these two games is because these were against great opponents with you know good teams and they actually knew how to play the game rather than just getting some stinker team who you would beat anyway even if you was playing with a full gold team anyway. So you could see there we've got another goal fest. It goes to 4-4 four, four, 
um, we, we can't really break down the, the uh, attacks that he's doing. He really can't break down our attacks. And then we get a little bit of luck in the last minute of the game. 90 second minute and a completely dubious penalty. Uh, which has got absolutely nothing to do with the formation or whatever. But it has. Because we had two people from the left and two people from the right running at him. So he doesn't know which one to track. It confuses the defender. And therefore he possibly gives away a penalty. But we do end up winning that one. But honestly... Overall, in the division, it was an absolute struggle. So this is obviously the team that we did rock in the formation. Yes, we haven't got Roberto Carlos on full chem, and that probably would have been better if we had a better person on the left. If you want to play a more defensive structure to it, then this is possibly the three at the back that you'd want to go with. You'd have two CDMs sitting back pretty deep, and essentially that would give you five-man cover, but that doesn't give you as many options going forward, which is the whole point of playing three at the back in the first place. So in those CDM positions, well, the CM CDM positions, you would need people with a hell of a lot of good stamina and high, high work rates to be able to push forward, push back, push forward, push back, push forward. Um, so if you had two good good highly rated CDMs or CMs with high high work rates that would work perfectly but honestly three at the back from the beginning for us just isn't the way to go however I do highly recommend it if you're struggling in a game with about 60 70 minutes gone on the clock give it a try it's work honestly it really does work especially if you feel like the momentum is against you it genuinely does work now along the way we did couple of, like knock off a couple of these weekly achievements where we did have to play the play five online seasons games and then the other one for a gold loan icons pack or something like that so first off we've got the two rare gold players pack do we get anything good in that no we don't so we don't get anything good in that pack and then we've obviously only got a lone icon pack to go. But hopefully all our fortunes will be changed later when footies release a tournament just like FIFA 16. Wouldn't that be amazing? Anyway, gold, lone, icon pack. Can we get somebody that we haven't tried just to see what he's like? Can we get somebody good? Who we got? Come on, EA. Give us somebody amazing. Five games. Who we got? It's not going to be anybody amazing. It's going to be Yari Littmanen. 90 rated and he's that embarrassed with his card he won't even come out to face the music as it is what an absolute shambles and a waste of a pack and that's it for today's video like i said hopefully hopefully they change it up a little bit they tried last year with the voting system of uh and then you needed a card to be able to do an spc hopefully they do it a little bit differently and give us some gameplay content this year that footage tournament from fifa 16 earlier on in the video something like that would be absolutely amazing so hopefully something like that drops like i said this is being recorded before any information is known so fingers crossed people let's go out with a bang but that is it for today's video if you have stumbled across the channel why don't you hit that subscribe button of course you know what to do by now hit that thumbs up button as well that will be greatly appreciated Drop a comment in the comment section below if you'd love to see a FIFA 16 type of tournament back or anything else you'd like to see from footies before the footies information is released. There's no point going, I'd love to see this for footies and then we all know what it is and then you've pretended that you've guessed exactly right because you don't win a chocolate bar for that kid. Not in this world. No, 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 no. But for now, thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.